There's a great appeal to watching a movie before everyone else does, to see it before your friends and family, and with it comes, you know, these questions of how do you even do that and how do you even get that opportunity to? And that's what I want to talk about today, how I went from saying yes to a random movie um, four or five years ago to now being able to watch, you know, this Owen Wilson movie that's coming out in a couple days right from my room. So let me tell you about that, but let's cue that intro first. These are just some of the many movies that I've seen in terms of advanced screenings and just some of the cool stuff that I've gotten from them. Let me tell you more about the other ones. It's kind of cool looking back at, you know, all this stuff and all these gifts that I've gotten from going to these advanced screenings because it's kind of crazy. I've seen, you know, some of the most sought after advanced screenings like Marvel movies as you know, well, you know, on the other end, some B kind of maybe even C movies. But it doesn't matter because the whole appeal to it is really cool being able to see a movie before anyone else does. And granted, it adds to the story that I wanted to tell today, which is pretty much you don't have to be, you know, some big in fancy influencer with a ton of followers to get access to this. It literally just takes, you know, one simple word, and that is yes. Yes to the opportunity that's presented to you. And that's kind of what happened with me in this whole kind of situation of going to these advanced screenings. Now, let me tell you about my first time. So I think it was around five or six years ago, um, I got an email asking me out of the blue if I wanted to see this movie. And before I tell you the name of the movie, um, you all probably know of what Pride and Prejudice is, and granted, you know, I did it at the time as well. But did you know they made a movie called Pride and Prejudice and Zombies? So, yeah, it was like a little bit of a weird kind of email to get, and I didn't know, you know really what to say, but it had the words advanced screening on it, so I thought, you know, that'd be a really cool opportunity, and I said yes. And it's a good thing I said yes, because this random movie that, you know, I granted it wasn't that bad, even though the name just sounds horrible. Um, even though it was kind of a rough movie to watch, it, it was, you know, saying yes to that opportunity and kind of eating my vegetables at the time, which led me, you know, to watching bigger and bigger advanced screenings and movies and gave me, you know, even more opportunities to say yes in the future. And that literally, you know, is how I got to where I am right now with this movie that's about to start in one minute. So um, I'm going to talk more about it kind of after this screening because you guys are technically not allowed to be here for legal purposes but once it's over in probably like two hours or something I'll tell you kind of more about where you could possibly sign up and kind of be a part of this whole kind of advanced screening thing too. Five, four, three, two, one. All right I'll see you guys later. And that's a wrap on the movie. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, it was a lot to take in, to be honest. Uh, the first part of the movie was a little bit slow for my taste, but then you just start to get more and more into it. And it just starts to ramp up to the point at the end. And I'm not trying to spoil it or anything. It just becomes really, really intense and you just, I don't know, just this whole movie, you don't know what real is and what real isn't. So it's a it's an awesome exploration in, in terms of like a dystopian kind of themed movie. Um, and definitely recommend to go watch if you get the chance. I think it'll be coming out on Amazon Prime Video February 5th. And this kind of segues into kind of what to expect with advanced screenings. For the most part, you get in for free. Um, if you have to pay, it seems a little bit kind of weird, but 
the whole trade-off essentially is that um, they don't require you to, but I mean, it always, you know, gets the ball rolling for a movie when people start talking about it kind of like this. Um, they didn't ask me to make, you know, this video for this movie. Um, it was just, you know, a cool experience that I wanted to share. With that being said, uh, there are also some limitations kind of when you go and see this. Um, it, the ticket is mostly meant for you, uh, not someone else, as well as there being, you know, a limited number of people allowed to go and watch it, as well as uh, when it's an in-person one at a theater, they tend to overflow the theater so that they can guarantee that the most amount of people will be there so that, you know, if someone out of the blue just can't make it, there's someone else, you know, right away to take their spot. So it's not just like, oh, I'm going to be able to go watch this advanced screening, you know, in the easiest way possible. Sometimes you have to wait in line, but definitely at the end of the day, it's worth it to get, you know, a one of a kind experience kind of like this. So I hope you guys like this video um, and if you did make sure to press that like button uh, down below. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on more kind of cool future adventures and tips and tutorials and vlogs and all that kind of stuff. And then comment down below if you are excited for this movie Bliss with Owen Wilson and Selma Hayek. I think I pronounced her name right. I'm the worst with names. But yeah, comment down below if, you, if you're excited for that and if uh, you have any ideas for future videos. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Stupid monitor move. I can't do my whip transition.